Next up, we're going to talk a little bit about Doctor Doom attacking Wakanda, fighting Atlanteans. Doctor Doom controlling everything from behind the scenes, I guess is the best way to put this. So, um, yeah, let's talk about what is going on with this. Because we got another alleged leak that... Yeah. Uh, um, it's really interesting because I went to go see it and apparently from the image, he looks... Close to classic comic Doctor Doom, and with the the thing that they're trying to work with is that Doom is in the movie, and that he's going to be working working, I guess, both sides from Wakanda and Atlantis to get yeah. them to fight. And it's pretty much on point with what Doom usually does to get the win. Mm -hmm. It's basically just a retread the rumor we've heard like a year ago for this movie. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean. Remember at one point, it was rumored that Doctor Doom would be the main villain of Wakanda Forever. And then they said it was changed to do Namor once they got all the rights to Namor officially yeah. secure. And then now it seems like they're just going to amalgamate both. Being like, But what if Doom is pulling all the strings behind the scenes and Namor is like almost like a puppet in there doing stuff? It's like, that would kind of work because then you offset Namor as a... like antagonist still a sort of hero you know angle and then dr doom can obviously be set up as the big bad going forward so i or one of the big bads going forward because there's plenty of them apparently floating around i mean if we're doing secret boys he is the big bad he will be the big bad yeah yeah so i don't know but is is he the big bad when all he wanted was a family of secret wars absolutely <laughs> yeah <laughs> all six of those events are literally doom, doom and read stories <laughs> yeah they're all the same they all devolve i say devolve they all end up at the same point that's true that's true what, uh, a fist fight to see, to see who's smarter <laughs> see what they can do is tie all this back around when reed finally has kids he's like hey hey you see your child you see how he's a mutant he belongs with them over there. Like, they could also pull on that as well down the road. Yeah. Like, you know, just split in the family. Yeah. And what people... Uh, so, like, I don't know, I just checked the chat and he's on redemption for Namor. Namor is not really... He's more of an anti-hero. Like, mm -hmm. he's, he's a bit of a jerk. <laughs> oh, yeah, he is. <laughs> so, yeah. So, it's not really any kind of... I don't know, I wouldn't say, like, there'd be any kind of redemption for... Like, <laughs> he'd, think, he'd, he'd think that he was in the right, but he's more yeah. willing to let them forgive him for what he does. <laughs> I do want to bring this up, though, because I've seen people talk about it as part of the whole bigger conversation. If you're introducing Doom in a post credit scene, which is allegedly what the thing is, you know, it's like a post credit scene. He shows up and he's been pulling the strings for the war that's happening. What do you do with him next? Because I want to stress, you do not need to drop him in the Fantastic Four again. That will no, just bring up don't. bad memories of botched different versions. I mean, you need to keep him away I from mean, Fantastic Four for a while. Yeah, the, the thing about Doom is that you can fit him into any other story because he's been in a lot of the stories in the Fantastic Four. Mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, yeah, I think you can absolutely. I'm back. Sorry, my dog was yeah. going nuts. I <laughs> no, I <laughs> I came back right in time for the important conversation about Doom. Um, Sean, I want to know. Uh, tell me now. I think that introducing Doom via post credit, like Thanos, is the best play, and I do think that. Very much depending on what they do with Fantastic Four. If it's an origin story, he has to be there, mm -hmm. obviously. And I do think, kind of piggybacking off of what Tristan just said, you could absolutely have Doom feature. You can absolutely feature Doom in a story, in the story. He does not have to be the villain of it. And I think it might even be wiser to shy away from him as the lead villain in, a fir in the first movie. But absolutely showing that he is a villain and, like, the primary antagonist of the four, I think you can absolutely do. I think that there is room to have him be, like, this over, like, this like, like this sort of Damocles hanging over the Marvel Universe that, like, everybody knows it's going to go down with. I, I love the, the rumor that's been floating around. I think that's what we were talking about, the, like... He's the guy who sends people to look into Atlantis and mm, yeah. that 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 little leak rumor. Yeah, I I really love that. And oh man, if we actually get if 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 in this year we get to see Doctor Doom in the MCU for the first time, 
like I, I I'm, feel like y'all can hear my smile right I mean, now. I am so excited. And I, I want people to know that. right now when we get to Wakanda Forever, if I get Namor in that film, at least summoning Imperius Rex, and then the post credit scene is Doctor Doom. If I get both those dudes in one film, I don't care how biased I am. That's jumping into top two for me it automatically. It might even take number one just with those two characters in <laughs> yeah. there. So I can, yeah. you know, and like, and like for people who are saying Doctor Doom's like a, a really, you know, big threat. How could you stick him into like another movie with a different character? Uh, let me remind people that. In the comics, they put Doctor Doom in variant, variant instances of stories. Like at one point, he fought Spider Man. Now, <laughs> yeah, so it's like you could see that he's all, well, what would you do you doing against Spider Man? It's like, well, depends on the story being told. He was also um, the key antagonist of the Children's Crusade for Young Avengers yeah. in the second volume. Right. Yeah. So we're heading next, or we're clearly where everything's <laughs> heading now. Right. Well, I think that's where Doctor Doom is like the most interesting and i think doom doom is one of those villains that like has a primary hero but is a threat to the entire universe yeah, yeah like i think yeah. like I, 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 even though this is using a dc example like someone like dark side mm. right like yeah dark side is like a superman villain but like he's everybody's problem mm. mm-hmm. yeah that, that's essentially what doom is he's a problem for everybody because he just wants power and control and like people say Which is exactly why right yeah he needs to be in the third doctor strange movie <laughs> that, 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 that actually, can we, can we get it. magical multiverse oh. doctor doom oh. yeah. not just yeah, i have electric powers now from the, Dude, yeah. the i was i was talking to uh, my girlfriend about this because we had like the 2005 fantastic four movie on at the bar uh which isn't bad no, i i like it, it that that movie is good actually mm-hmm. uh <laughs> i I'm I was just watching that movie. It was like this big dumb smile on my face. Where I was like, I can't believe when we inevitably get him in the MCU, like we have the reference points for other characters for him to like compare how powerful he is. Yeah. Like we've had Tony Stark in the MCU, so you could be like, yeah, he is just as, if not smarter than Stark. He has like a a, a scientific understanding of the world on par with reed richards and he's and he's a sorcerer on the level yeah. of strange like to be able to use all of these other characters in the mcu as like shorthand for the rest of the audience and be like this is how much of a threat this guy is like you like you put stark and richard's brains in a blender make it evil you get him and also he has magic and tech powers it's yeah. so like i uh yeah, he's so like excited most, for Doom, yeah, he's man. like, yeah, he's like so one excited. of the most o- overpowered uh, characters on Earth, and so, well, also one of the most interesting. They, yeah, yeah, yeah. They yep. didn't that pit trap of the yeah. he's just OP for OP sake. He's actually yeah. that's yeah, all. Like, give this give this guy a Disney Plus series. Like, <laughs> yeah, that's what, well, that's what some of the uh, other rumors were. Is that that's what they were trying to work on at one point? Mm-hmm. So I mean, to me, the standout part of Doctor Doom, which is always why I gravitated to. Like, before I even knew what the Fantastic Four were, I knew who Doctor Doom was just by the appeal of flipping through comics and things that my dad had. And, like, I stop on him, just stare at him, being like, that design. And then just following through with the character and being such a huge fan. To me, I think everything Doctor Doom, as it is in the comics, can properly be brought over. Obviously, his history, the connection to his mom, his powers, connection to Reed Richards... You can have all that. You can make slight alterations here or there to, you know, fit into the MCU for however they're going to do it. But eventually when he shows up and he's standing opposed of all these Avengers, he doesn't need an army. And that's what makes him so interesting. It's like he doesn't need any of this. He's got his Doombots. He's got his castle. And he's got himself. That's all you really need. Well, yeah, because like uh, for an example of how evil he is, there is a storyline where to get ultimate power... He needed to. He needed uh, pure love. He only loved one person, and he spent the entirety of that story trying to get, to, trying to win her back. Mm-hmm. And when he finally did, he create created the spell, got the power, but as a cost, the girl died. <laughs> and he said, "Screw that! I got power now." Yeah. So, yeah. Oh. And like, like, and as the other threats, uh, I think in some other uh, stories, he's 
taken the power of Silver Surfer and Galactus. And in the biggest one, he had, uh, he had, was, well, he had the power or siphoned the power from Molecule Man and killed Thanos with relative ease. So, yeah, he's a real big deal. He's spy now. (laughs) 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 Oh, Infinity Gauntlet, how cute. Yoink. It's God, I can't wait for Doom. I cannot wait for Doom. It's just, it's just such an exciting prospect. Like, this is what we, like, the kind of, like, the moment we've been waiting for, you know? Like, it was that weird double-edged sword of, you know, oh, geez, I really don't need Disney as a corporation to get any bigger, but, like, god damn, do I want the Fantastic Four in the MCU? Yeah. And, ah, uh, like, it's slowly starting to pay off, man, and I can't wait. This is just, let's, let's just figure out this Spider-Man situation so I can have Johnny Storm and Peter Parker being bros. And then I'll be happy. That's all I need left. Slow and steady. Yeah. I guess it's building up. Do Do we think we're going to get a casting post credit scene like they have been doing for Phase Four, or is it going to be a stand-in? Huh. I. Hmm. There's no like, way it's not a casting. Yeah. Like, I mean, most I mean, things at the minute it's going. You know, here's yeah. Charlie Theron as uh, Cleo. You know, here's yeah. uh, Ted Lasso guys, Hercules. Spoilers. I'm sure, yeah. Yeah. I'm trying to remember because, um, like, wasn't like a version of Thanos a stand-in before they finished casting? Oh yeah, yeah the, you know. the Avengers post credit scene was a stand-in yeah. guy. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's what I'm trying to think. I if, mean, if... Yeah, I mean, he obviously in the leak we saw that's previs. He's standing there with somebody, and then it wouldn't surprise me if he dispatches them, sits down, takes his mask off, and we get the reveal of a scarred big oh, actor. Let's not take his mask off. You don't think they're gonna uh, do I'd... it? I don't want that, no. They they'll probably yeah, will do it, but it's like, that's not do. Well, you, you don't you, you, well, you don't want to scar the children? <laughs> I got I got to learn sometime. You know, it might be cool if like we see him putting it on. Like mm. very 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 Vader and Rogue One. I was going to say Vader style, yeah. Where you don't you don't see the full face. Uh-huh. Like you see an obscured version of it like the same way in Rogue One like the condensation on the back to tank obscured Vader's face. Like you could see his face but you couldn't see his face. Yeah. Uh, Something uh, like that showing Doom like putting it on where it's just enough to be like, "Oh, it's that actor," especially by yeah. the time we start speaking. I, I think I'm but, kind of in the middle on it. Like maybe you show the face of or some of the face of the actor, right? But then you're going to have a stand-in and then obviously a voiceover actor to do Doctor Doom, right? Because you're not going to... Like, I don't think you put the... That's if he even speaks in the credit scene. That's true, yeah. That's true. It... Knowing knowing Doom, he speaks. <laughs> <laughs> I want them to do the whole thing. I mean, you know, the first thing we see is actually a Doom bot, but we don't find that out until the first appearance proper. Ah. So you, you don't, you're never going to see his face in that credit scene. You can, like The voice won't matter because it's not actually Doom. Uh-huh. It's like, ha oh, it was a Doom battle alone. <laughs> Just like everything else Doom does. Like, I don't I don't get off this chair. <laughs> they can literally do Thanos again and you just have Doctor Doom sitting down for eight years. Mm-hmm. On, on, on a chair until he finds Reed and then now he has to get up. Exactly. The fine, it. I'll do it myself, yeah. but it's like, <laughs> exactly. but it's literally a paragraph long because Doom can't cut, <laughs> keep himself from monologuing. <laughs> Although... Although, now that you mention Reed, I think, and I don't know how I felt about this, as I've seen, like, the speculation that, like, the Fantastic Four would be, you know, they travel, and then, like, they come back, and they're, like, a, and it's, like, a people out of time story, that whole idea, they're, like, that's why they've been gone, is because the experiment that gave them their powers, you know, be it going to the negative zone, or going into space, or however you want to play it, that it, like, pushes them through time, that would be really interesting if that was like why Doom got on the board is that he's been lurking the entire time and it's the reemergence of Reed Richards where he's like, oh, you. <laughs> yeah, it's got to yeah. be. Yeah. It's and time to get violently petty and <laughs> get involved again. You thought I was petty to the people of my country. Just you wait till I find <laughs> out this young man in New York is back. Oh, ho, ho. I also so hope that in the five years of the blip, that is when he took control of Sokovia and turned it into Latveria. Yeah. I'm still stuck on yep. Sokovia. Sokovia no, can can, can we have it so he stops trying to like annex Sokovia because Reed's back? Yeah. He's like, you know what? That ain't worth it. I'm going for this guy. Oh. 
<laughs> I mean, if you have him actively trying to annex Sokovia, that might. It, I don't know how well it will play with everything going on in Ukraine. Like, I don't. I'm not even trying to make a joke. Oh yeah, like, no, no. I was not, just thinking that, that may not play. Or that may not go over well with international and audiences. Also, I mean, we, fingers crossed. By the time that could happen, that would be done. <laughs> we might also have this problem where well, suddenly you're saying, "Oh yeah, you know how um." Eastern Europe and parts of, you know, like Northern Africa and stuff all hate. And I got to use this term because that's the technical term. You know how they all hate gypsies? Guess what? The gypsies attacking everybody. Dr. Doom in revenge for his mom. It's like, oh, oh, let's not put that in there. So, so like, you could really yeah. have to be careful with how they <laughs> handle Dr. Doom in some aspects. Cause they're like, we could really paint some people in a battle like, just with Doctor Doom. Especially how they like kind of botched early Scarlet Witch stuff mm. and like had to and like you know, like I mean, like you come from that part of the world, so like you have you're able to say like the, the G word. I don't feel comfortable saying it on a hot microphone. Like they had like like Elizabeth also was saying that in interviews about Scarlet Witch. That, that's like, why that, like like that is such a that is such a rocky terrain if you botch yeah. that. China That's narrative. what I'm saying. Like, I have members of my family who are literally, like, you know, on my dad's side, married into. And, like, you know, it, it's Eastern Europe, yeah. so it happens. And it's, like, it, it to, over there, you know, it's, like, more commonplace that people use it. But, like, I, I would be also, like you said, with the horse car with which thing. It's just, like, it's such a weird thing to approach yeah. that angle. And especially with, like, what you said, Ukraine and Russia and all this. It's, like, meh. <laughs> so they've, they've at least got to keep the Romani side. Mm -hmm. for, mm -hmm. Oh, they absolutely they have to, to. Yeah, hundred percent. They have to keep it. It's just a matter of like, again, avoiding portraying it in a like mm. weird way, yeah. and also not pulling a Scarlet Witch where like she randomly has a cross in her room. Yeah, in, uh, <laughs> yeah <Civil> that was. <laughs> Man, yeah, that I didn't. Was... I didn't know that. That was one of those TikTok taught me, and I was like. Whoa! Yeah. yeah and how many yeah. times I've seen this movie and I had no Ma Marvel idea. Marvel in general is not good with that because, like, no. you look at like Kitty Pride and she's now got knuckle tattoos, and it's like A, that's a no no, <laughs> B, they're crosses. Um, and then you got Wiccan over here, you know, prominent Jewish character. And it's like, eh, he's got like an Antichrist stuff on him, and like, that's uh, <laughs> yeah, not not to the good. No, like, don't do that. That's, I suppose. Um, but hey. Doctor Doom's gonna hopefully be here by the end of the year if all the leaks are correct. So, um, when that happens, we will obviously all be talking about it in different outlets and probably meet up for it together again because um, it's Wakanda forever and there'll be a lot of discussion. So, um, yeah, give me we'll... another classic adventure. A yes. classic adventure. Yes, yes. yes. <laughs> I I just need again the internet to know that Armin and I are going to have a oh it's the coming. last the last Jedi style force bond. <laughs> it's coming. No, you won't. He's going to roll over. Whatever, whatever Doom shows up, <laughs> whenever Doom shows up, he and I are going to have like a very last Jedi style. Like the other one just appears in front of the other one. We're like, oh, did you see that? I saw that. Did you see that? We're, yeah. we're a Dr. Doom dyad, is what you're saying? Just, a Doom dyad, that, That's yes. what we are. That's, that's <laughs> how it is. <laughs> oh, well, speaking of dyad,